This story is created by a parent like you, using Tailbot. Danny's Discovery, The Secret Language of Dots A Special Bedtime Story for Danny Once upon a time, in a cozy classroom nestled in the heart of a bustling town, there was a curious boy named Danny. Danny, with his inquisitive eyes and boundless energy, was the kind of boy who found wonder in the smallest of things. He loved adventures, both big and small, and on this particular day, his quest for knowledge was about to take him on an unexpected journey. It was a bright winter morning when Danny skipped to school, his backpack bobbing with each hop. The air was crisp, and the world seemed to shimmer with the possibilities of a new day. When Danny arrived, he found his classmates buzzing with excitement. Today was a special day, they whispered, for it was World Braille Day. But Danny tilted his head, puzzled. What's Braille? he asked his best friend, Sarah, who just shrugged in response. Mrs. Jenkins, their kind-hearted teacher with a smile as warm as the sun, gathered the class to explain. Children, she began, today we're going to learn about Braille, a unique way of reading and writing used by people who are blind or have vision difficulties. The classroom was filled with a collective gasp of intrigue. Danny's eyes widened as Mrs. Jenkins held up a mysterious sheet of paper covered in tiny, raised dots. This, she said, is the secret language of dots. Danny leaned in closer, his curiosity now a flame that couldn't be extinguished. Mrs. Jenkins went on to tell the story of Louis Braille, a brilliant young man who, despite losing his sight, created this language so that those without vision could still read through touch. The class listened, captivated by the tale of determination and ingenuity. Now, Mrs. Jenkins said with a twinkle in her eye, who wants to try reading Braille? Eager hands shot up, wavering like little leaves in an excited breeze. Danny, too, raised his hand high, itching to feel the mysterious dots beneath his fingertips. One by one, the children took turns, their faces scrunching in concentration as they tried to decipher the code. When it was Danny's turn, he approached the paper with reverence. His fingers danced across the raised dots, and he felt a thrill run through him. It was like nothing he had ever experienced, like a secret whisper from a world unseen. As the day went on, Mrs. Jenkins introduced the class to a variety of activities. They learned how to write their names in Braille using special tools, and even played games designed to sharpen their sense of touch. Danny loved every second of it, but as the day drew to a close, he felt a tinge of sadness. He wished there was a way to share this amazing language with everyone. Tailbot, tailor-made tales for your child's dreams. That's when an idea struck him like a bolt of lightning. Mrs. Jenkins, he said, voice trembling with excitement, what if we make our own Braille book for the school library? Mrs. Jenkins' eyes shone with pride. What a wonderful idea, Danny, she exclaimed. The class cheered, and soon they were all immersed in the project, with Danny leading the charge. The children worked tirelessly, their fingers busy as they punched dot after dot to form the letters. They chose a story about friendship and courage, one that would warm the hearts of anyone who read it. Danny was in charge of the cover, and he spent hours ensuring the Braille title was perfect. As the days passed, the children's book took shape. They painted pictures to accompany the text and used textures to make the images come alive for readers who relied on touch. Their little classroom became a hive of creativity, each child pouring love and care into every page. Danny felt a sense of pride swell within him, he was part of something truly special. Finally, the book was complete. With the help of Mrs. Jenkins, they placed it on a special shelf in the school library. A small sign announced its presence, our first Braille book, created by Mrs. Jenkins' class. Word spread through the school like ripples on a pond. Students and teachers came to see the masterpiece, and the local newspaper even wrote a story about the extraordinary project. Danny and his classmates had not only learned a new language but also created a bridge of understanding and empathy. That night, as Danny lay in bed, the moon's gentle light streaming through his window, 
he thought about the day's adventure. He realized that sometimes the most powerful journeys were those that opened your eyes to the experiences of others. He had learned about kindness, about perseverance, and about the beauty of communication in all its forms. Danny drifted off to sleep, a contented smile on his lips, knowing that tomorrow held new adventures, new lessons, and new opportunities to make the world a little brighter, one dot at a time. And so, the secret language of dots was no longer a secret to Danny and his friends. It was a shared language, one that spoke of inclusivity and the endless wonder of discovery. As Danny journeyed into dreams, the raised dots of Braille etched into his memory, he understood that every person's story deserves to be heard, or in this case, felt. In a world full of voices and noise, sometimes it's the quietest whispers that carry the greatest tales, and Danny knew he would always cherish the tale of the day he discovered the secret language of dots. Created by a kid and their parent using Tailbot, click the link in the video description to create your own story.